and welcome to Marriage Moments with Life Coach Robin May. As promised, each month I'll be right here in my home office sharing with you strategies and principles to help empower, equip, and educate you in the area of your relationship. This month, let's talk about the importance of cleaning out your filter. Right now, you are a sum total of your experiences and your choices. And whether you know it or not, those things, your experiences and your choices, impact how you connect with the people that you love. Psychologists use a fancy term called schema. You can Google it, but schema is basically how you organize and process information. And our schema influences how we perceive other people. If you ever dry clothes, I know ladies we do, but fellas, I don't know about you. <laughs> but when you're drying clothes, you know that if you don't pull out the filter, clean out all of that lint, then the machine won't work properly. Your clothes won't get as dry and you're in danger of causing a fire. I want you to keep that in mind when it comes to cleaning out your emotional and cognitive filter. Before we look at this as a couple, let's first look at it individually. If you're not careful, you're living your life through the lens of your past hurts, your frustration, and your fears. And if you don't clean out your filter, if you don't take time to identify how you're processing information, if you don't take time to really identify your core beliefs, your perceptions, it will influence your ability to receive the love you really want. Later on in the year, we're going to talk about the importance of self-awareness. But basically, I really want you to understand that if you don't like how you're connecting, the first step is to figure out how am I processing? How am I receiving what's happening? Imagine that somebody says or does something. It goes through your tunnel and then it gets to you. But by the time it goes through your tunnel, it might be clouded again with your bad experiences or even your good experiences. So what do you do? How do you take time individually to make sure that you are cleaning out your filter? Number one, you have to acknowledge that you have a filter that needs to be cleaned out. Many of us live in denial and that is not healthy. Your experiences impact you. And if you don't acknowledge that, it's going to hinder you. Number two, I want you to take time to identify the obvious things that impact your filter. I don't know what that is for you. Maybe you didn't have a dad and so that impacts how you connect with men. Maybe you did have a father and your father told you how a man should act with a woman and as a husband now it's impacting how you connect with your wife. I don't know what your filter is or what's impacting your filter, but I want you to take time to name what you know influences your connections. And then thirdly, I want you to take responsibility to know when your filter or the things that impact your filter are influencing how you're connecting with somebody else. You know, one of the tenets of I believe in marriage is that we keep it real. So I'm going to give you a real example. Right now, I am real pregnant. And my husband came in the house one day and said, baby, you don't look as pregnant as you did for our first two children. You want to know what I heard? Babe, you're not as fat as you were the first two times. If I didn't know this information, I would have went off. Okay, I did go off, but I was able to pull myself back because I realized I have some stuff impacting my filter. I'm pregnant, so of course I have some insecurities and I feel big and I feel larger than usual. So even though he probably didn't mean any harm, my stuff impacted how I heard him. And so you want to make sure, like I did, that you take time to say, you know what, that's my stuff. So number one, acknowledge that you have a filter. Number two, name the obvious things that are impacting your filter. And then number three, take responsibility and ownership of how those things impact how you connect. So we talked about this in terms of an individual, but let's talk about it in terms of our relationship. Can you imagine that if you've been with someone longer than a week, that day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, your partner has done something to disappoint you, hurt you, frustrate you. And if we don't take time to clean that stuff out, then we wonder why we're finding ourselves pulling further and further apart. Remember this, this is important. 
Everything we do is either moving us closer together or further apart. And so cleaning out your filter allows you to connect closer to your partner. So just like I gave you tips on cleaning out your filter individually, let me give you some things to clean out your filter as a couple. Number one, you want to make sure that you and your significant other have a safe place to communicate. We talked about this a little bit last month, but basically safe doesn't mean consequence free. You can't expect to come and dump something on your partner and they have no emotional reaction. But on the other hand, you don't want to have an environment where your partner is scared or intimidated or afraid to share with you. Make sure that there is a safe place because we don't need to stuff it. We need to talk about those things that are impacting the way we connect. Number two, you want to both agree to be held accountable. Listen, you are not ready for a serious relationship if you're not ready for accountability. Marriage or a relationship shouldn't be a place where one partner keeps doing something to the other partner and there's no plan or strategy to improve things in that area. So you want to make sure that there's a place for accountability, that the two of you can sit down and say, listen, we can't keep doing things this way. This is how we need to improve. And then thirdly, can you both commit to giving each other the benefit of the doubt? Maybe, just maybe she didn't mean it. Maybe, just maybe he didn't know that that would upset you. If we would just give one another some of the same grace that God shows us, our relationships won't have as many areas of conflict. Give each other the benefit of the doubt. So number one, have a safe place for communication. Number two, commit to accountability. And number three, give each other the benefit of the doubt. So I know that was a lot of information. I want you and your significant other to take a moment to dialogue. Ask one another, have I created a safe place for you to come and talk? Ask your partner, how can we hold one another accountable? If you haven't, share some of the things that impact your filter individually or as a couple. After the two of you dialogue, I would love for you to come to facebook.com slash I believe in marriage. Share your thoughts, your takeaways. Let's really dialogue together. I so look forward to connecting with you. Again, this is Marriage Moments with Life Coach Robin May. Let's stay connected.